Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and you already know what's going on from the title down below. Welcome to Becoming Ade C. I am Ade C. I'm a master healer and alchemist and this is my story time channel, everything channel, get to know me, get to know about things, everything happens here but today we're doing another story time. This is part two to the Christmas video that I just did. So if you haven't watched that one yet, go and watch it and catch up and you'll you also know why we're speaking in a British accent because story times you get the British accent. So I'm a little rusty right now because I'm recovering. I have a new job and I work with kids, so they always get me sick. But anyway, I digress. Welcome to my story time. This is about how I got scammed by one of the most famous families for scamming, and only I will go through this. So. Let's get into the story. If you guys watched the last video, then you guys know that um, I was talking about dreams and how you need to like really take them seriously because they're messages. And that one was about my twin flame and karmic situation. While I was dealing with a karmic who, you know, dibbles and dabbles in their dark arts. So this is a part two of the video, yeah. I was really scared, you guys. I was so scared because, yeah, I've been an intuitive, like, an intuitive, la, 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 la. I've been an intuitive, I've been into this my whole entire life because they don't even want to, say, they don't even want me to say intuitive. I've been this way my whole entire life. But, you know, when you don't have the vocabulary for it, you don't really have the guidance. You don't really know what's going on. You just think you're weird. Um... You just don't really know until you know until it's time, right? So it was time for me to deal with, you know, people who are into like the dark arts and like voodoo and stuff like that. And it's time for me to deal with it. And um, it was part of my awakening, which I understand now. But yeah, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. I'm like, who do you even ask for help? Who do you even trust? Ah, so my myself decided I'm gonna get reading on Groupon because at this time so much stuff was happening to me and I like I know when it's my stuff like I know when things are happening to me because of cause and effect because I did something and now I'm suffering this, the consequences or I wouldn't say consequence the consequences I would say I'm learning the lesson from what I chose to do right so I knew it wasn't me I knew it wasn't me. I was sitting there trying to tell my TF, like, ayo, this person's da 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 You know what I'm saying? But, like, they're looking at me like, no, you're just being jealous. No, you're just upset. No, you're just mad because I chose to go do this, da 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 And I'm like, no, no, that's not the case. And I'm going to run it even further back, yeah, because the way my TF and I even met this gal, the way we even met her, right, it was so weird because we went to a restaurant right before I left for school. Um, Cause you know me, I'm big on birthdays, y'all. I'm very big on holidays. I'm very big on celebrating people and making sure they feel like amazing. So we decided to do something early cause I wasn't gonna be here for their birthday. So it was like a birthday celebration, right? And like this comic, yeah, this girl, yeah, she was so fixated. On my TF, I'm like, why you're acting? You're giving me obsessed vibes, right? And I'm sitting there, and you know, like I said, I've been in, intuitive my whole life. I've been doing this my whole life, and I just have this bad feeling about this gap. Like in the depths of me, I could feel it in my solar plexus. Now I know it's my solar plexus. I could feel it in my solar plexus. I was like, there's something wrong with this girl. You know? Like she's not normal. You know what I'm saying? She's not normal. I don't feel normal. So I know what not normal looks like what the vibration and frequency of it but hers was just dark and she was just obsessed with like wanting to celebrate my tf's birthday because i guess they're both the same sign right and their birthdays are like right behind each other so they were so obsessed with it they're like this cake this cake this cake and everything inside of me i'm like don't eat that cake bro I don't need the cake, bro. Leave the cake, bro. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? But like on my side of the fence, I can see their perspective because they did get like, and they got into a mood about it, yeah. Because they thought that I was just being jealous, and I'm like, 
come on now, people talk to you all the time. If we go somewhere, people are going to be friendly with you. And it's not like I get upset like this. Like, my soul is upset by this person right now. This is different. And I remember I was going outside here and I was like, she's going to be a problem in the future. Like, I don't know now, did I speak into existence or was it a premonition? Comment down below, do you think it was a premonition or do you think I spoke it into existence? Um, I'm open to whatever your, my, your perspective of it is. Because I, I feel like it could it could have been a bit of both. It could have been something that was a premonition, but if I had handled it differently, maybe it wouldn't have gone down that way. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I said it. I said it outside. I was like, this person's going to be a problem in the future. And voila, here they are, a problem in the future. Like I said, I came back from school. Like, everything was going wrong. Like, I was already in such a depressed and low place from trying to push my final year of university because, like, that's a whole nother story time. But <laughs> that shit took me a long time to get that piece of paper, you know. Took a long time to get that piece of paper, you know. And I was just already in a low place. So then to come back and, like, find all this stuff and then have to deal with this comic, like, it was just too much. So I was overwhelmed. I didn't know who to ask. I didn't know who to talk to. I had just started my YouTube channel, my old channel, Addisi Majesty Tarot. I had just started that channel and like by God's grace, like I met my sis, I met Asasa. So Asasa was there for this whole process here. So if you want to fact check, ask Asasa about it. Because, you know, I'm just grateful to her for listening to me because I sounded like a mad person. Like, I was surprised. I was like, I sound crazy right now. How are you still my friend though? Like, you just met me and then it's just like this madness. But anyway, let's get into the story about how I was scammed by Rose Marks, yeah? Now, if you don't know who Rose Marks is, get onto your Google and do a little bit of research. Mama ran some clips. Um, I also was able to find the Groupon that I purchased to speak with this lady, the initial contact. And I see she's still doing videos, yeah? Or she's still doing what she's doing. <laughs> So I might do a part three to this video where we like actually call and actually get another reading and see if she remembers me. But anyway, I'm gonna run these clips so you know a little bit more about Rose Marks and let's go. So as you guys can see, that was June 20th, 2019. My whole situation started around that time in 2018. And it was just so much. It was just so much, yeah. For a whole year, I was dealing with that, dealing with everything. And I felt like I was so alone and by myself. But, yeah, let's get into the other clips. So, you guys, this is how it all went down, yeah. So, like I told you guys, I was like, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to turn to. Um, I was really scared, not only for myself, I was also scared for my TF and their family and like what could go wrong because I could see everything that they couldn't see or maybe they didn't want to see, I don't know. But I could see everything and I could see where it was going. Like I could see that like, yeah, the thing is with comics, yeah, they become obsessed and they'll make you feel like you're the only person in the world they could ever be with, that they could ever love. Um, and they show you this crazy side, right? It's crazy, but it's like intoxicating, if that makes sense. And I was like, this girl, yeah, she will kill you. Like, that's how I felt. Like, I knew it. I was like, if you don't break out of this, this person will kill you. Like, that's how obsessed they are. Like, they will literally make sure that your life is ruined and that you have only them to turn to. Like, so I was scared. I was genuinely scared. Um, I was genuinely scared, so... Finally, I was just like, you know what? I don't want no parts of this. Like, TF comic. Like, I don't, I don't want any of this. Like, I don't, I don't want it. I need to just live. Like, cause I, I feel like I'm not living right now. So I went to Groupon on the twentieth, and I called this lady. Cause at that time, yeah, I wasn't working. I just come back from school. I didn't really have that much money, um, at all. So it was like, it's on sale, yeah? Like, this is divine timing. Like, this is God showing me. Like, go talk to this person. And it was a test, right? <laughs> it was a test. Are you going to trust that I'm going to fix the situation? I'm going to work the situation out or get you out of the situation when you're going to go get scammed? Yeah, I chose to go get scammed, yeah? So 
I call this lady, right? And she is like, I'm already scared. And now she's like, she's she's laying it on me. She's like, yeah, it's so bad. Yeah, you need to do this. You need to do that. Like, she made me terrified. Like, if I was already scared, now I'm terrified. And like, mind you, like I said, I wasn't really working. I didn't really have money like that. But she's like, it's going to cost $500. I'm telling you guys right now, I got scammed for $500. But at this time... Like, even though things were crazy, I was also doing, like, learning. Like, I was learning a lot. Like, I filled my time with learning more about myself, my craft, about the universe, about the laws of attraction, about karma, all of that stuff, yeah. So, I'm doing all this learning and research. This lady's like, it's 500. I'm like, okay, say less. I'm like, look, this is my situation. I don't have that much money here, but can I do it in installments? And she's like, yeah, you can do it in installments. And I'm like, okay, so we have an agreement. So this is where things started to get fishy, but still I was desperate. I was desperate. I was like, you know, I'm just going to bypass all the red flags because I'm desperate. So she's like, can you can you send the money this way? And I'm like, look, I can't send the money that way. Yeah, um, I can do like PayPal if you want. Like, and she's like, I don't have PayPal. And she's like, okay, well, here's my son's account. So I ended up sending the money to, I think it was like a 150 payment first. It was like two 150 payments and then a 250 payment. That was going to be the last payment. That was the agreement. So I sent her 150 immediately. Mind you guys, like I probably only had like maybe 170 in my account or like maybe even less than that. Um, and I sent her the money, like I sent her the money through her son. Um, and it was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Sent it through her son. And she's like, you need to go and buy, I'm specific, you guys. She was like, you need to go buy green ribbon and red ribbon and have an envelope. And I'm like, okay, all right, I'll go get it. I'm sitting here like, aren't you, aren't you the one who's supposed to be doing this work? Like, did I didn't just pay you? And now you're telling me I need to go buy this and this. And she's like, I'm going to send you all this stuff. I'm going to send you crystals. I'm going to send you baths. I'm going to send you everything that you need to do this work. Like, she's like, I have some materials here, but I'm going to, I'm going to mail you the rest of what you need. And I'm like, okay, cool, 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 bet, bet. So I go buy the ribbon, yeah, she tells me to cut four green ribbons, four red ribbons, put in an envelope, and put under, put it under my bed, like under my mattress. I do it. And like whole time, yeah, my ears are like going off, my intuition's going off like, you're stupid. Like, what are you doing? And I, but desperate scared me, it's like, we got to do something about this. So like, I, I told my best friend about what was going on, yeah, and... I'm just going with it. So like two weeks later, it's time for the next payment. I still haven't received a package. Where are my crystals? Where are my candles? Where are my baths that you said you was going to run me? I'm not seeing anything. So I'm like, I'm calling her and she's like, okay. She's like, I'm sending them, sending them. I had to get specialty things. Like that's how she's running it. Yeah. She's like, I, I need to get specialty things. I need to get like special crystals and like special material she's like but i need the rest of the money like can you send you know can you make sure you get me the rest of the money so i can get the rest of the things and i'm like okay fair enough yeah on a business aspect fair enough so i sent her the, the other 150 through her son again and yeah you guys i got the package yeah when i got the package you guys know what was in it it was literally just sort in like a test tube, like one of them test tubes that you can get from Michael's. Like, you know, in your science lab, yeah, how you have the test. It was literally two test tubes of salt. Not even pink Himalayan salt, not, not even anything fancy. No spices, no herbs, no nothing. It was just salt. I said, at that point, it was like, what's not clicking? <laughs> My spirit guys were like, what's not clicking? This lady, you paid five hundred dollars. She hasn't, she hasn't shown you any of the workings. She hasn't shown you anything. And like I said, you guys, I'm still learning. I'm doing a lot of learning and research um, throughout this time. I'm doing a lot of learning and research, so it just wasn't clicking. And uh, that's when I was like, I knew. I was like, I'm being scammed right now. My fear 
of this unknown thing has pushed me to the point of I have now lost $300 and this woman's not doing anything for me. (sighs) Take that in. Let's take that in for a minute and I'll be right back because that just hit me on some sort of level. I need a moment. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, you guys. So, like I told you guys, yeah, I'm learning a lot. So, I'm learning about karma. I was doing a lot of past life, like, regression, like, through dream state at that time. And doing a lot of research. And it was like, at that point, I was like, I'm being scammed right now. Like, this woman's not doing anything for me. I'm so sad that I lost my old phone, yeah, because I really wish I could play, like, the recordings of when she would call me, try to check up on me, see if things have changed. Knowing full well that nothing's changed. Um... She sent me this picture of Etsy, an an Etsy picture of, like, one white candle and, like, some crystals around it. I'm like, what's one white candle going to do for someone who's, like, using voodoo? Like, what's that going to do for me? Like, really, what's that going to do for me? So, anyway, then I'm like, you know what, let me start, like, researching this lady and, like, researching her name. That's when I found out. That's when I found out. And this is how I knew her, like, full name. Because the last payment that I had to make for 250 right, it was due on a certain day. And, like, I told you guys, like, I was really learning about karma and stuff like that. And it's like, even though I knew it was a scam, at this point, I was like, look, I've already made an agreement, which is a contract which is, like, universally binding, and I don't want any parts with this person. Like, I never want to come across this person again in any lifetime. So I want to make sure I close out this cycle. So I was running, like, with it. Like, I'm always running around like a ch- like a chicken with my head in between my, ne- my, my legs. I need to stop doing that. That's not okay. But anyway, I'm, like, running around, yeah? Like, I'm talking to... Sissy, she's on the phone with me. I'm talking to this awesome. She's on the phone with me. And I'm like, this slightly scammed me. Like, I was mad. I was so upset. But I'm like, but I have to just pay this last 250 because I don't want any karma. I don't want to come. I don't want any more cycles with her. Da, 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 da. It's probably happened in the past. I probably did it to her in the past. But I was like, don't want any more karmic cycles with her. I don't want to come across her again in life. And I'm so angry because I don't really have money right now. And I'm spending this money. And like, I had a whole breakdown because then it was like, I was angry at my twin, I was angry at the girl, I was angry at her, I was just angry at the world, like, I was so upset, like, my dark feminine was definitely woke, like, it woke up at that time, because I was in chaos, and I was like, I was ready, everybody can get it at this point, um, and I'm like, I'm running to, like, the Walmart, um, I'm running to the Walmart, I'm running to the bank, and this is how I had all her information, because the last time, she didn't want me to send the money to her son, she wanted me to send it to her direct, so I remember, she had to give me her information, because the only way she can go and pick up the money from Walmart is by giving me her full name that's on her ID and her location, so I'm not going to disclose her location, because I'm not petty like that, but the rest of it is on the internet to know your name's Rose Marks, right? So she gave me the name, it was Rose Marks, and she gave me her location. So I'm so angry. I'm li- I'm literally sitting in the car at Walmart. Like, I really don't want to do this, but I really don't want any more comic cycles with her. So I finally go and I pay the money and I send it to her. And I'm like, did you get the money? All right, well, never hit me up again. Like, I just... I just distanced myself, like, she asked me questions, she would call me, she would call me and, like, just check to see if things are going all right, because she wants to scam me again, that's what she wants, she wants me to tell her, like, nothing's going right, everything's so wrong, da 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 and I was like, no, things are good, thank you, so it just, it just so happened that that phone ended up breaking, so then she didn't have contact she didn't have my contact anymore because I changed my number. But yeah, you guys, I got scammed for five hundred dollars. That was my first spiritual scam. Like, trust and believe, you would have thought I learned the first time. But mm, I guess sometimes you have to learn the hard way. Because I did end up getting scammed again. Got scammed a couple of times after. <laughs> 
for different reasons and different levels of spirituality. So yeah, I got scammed by Rose Marks, who was part of like the biggest scamming family, psychic scamming family in America. And only I would experience this. It's a true story. And like I said, if you guys want a part three of where I like set another appointment with this with this woman, let me know, yeah. Let me know. Cause I'll do it. Like that's a that's ten dollars worth spending for a reading. Matter of fact, I'm gonna book it right now, yeah. I might just record it today, we'll see. But if you've been scammed before, don't take it to heart, you know it's a learning lesson. I took it as a lesson of discernment. I took it as a lesson of discernment to not only know how to like pick the right um, healers for myself, but also what kind of healer I wanted to be. Cause it is a choice. Like you can sit here and you can scam people. It's very easy to do, or you can choose to be an upstanding person and just know that whatever it is that you're after, it's going to come to you because you've done the work. You know what I'm saying? And we were talking about this yesterday on my live about scammers and like ego and money and greed and like I just can never understand how people who are supposed spiritualists can be out here scamming people when you know the information, when you have the knowledge. Um, but at the same time, it's like people, I get, I don't know, it's really complicated. And it's something I want to talk about. We'll talk about it in another video, or maybe I'll do a live like podcast session here and we'll talk about it. But like, it's like, can you blame people when that's what people be wanting? People want to be lied to. That's why I would say about 70%, if not 80% of people seek out a spiritualist is because they want to be told what they want to hear. Kind of like they want to be lied to so they feel valid in their lies and the illusions that they create for themselves. But I just don't want to be that type of person. So until it's my time to be out here and be seen, I'll just be in the cut um, until people are ready. But if you guys enjoyed this story time, please comment down below. Um, let me know your stories. Have you been scammed before by a spiritualist? Um, Make sure to subscribe and turn on all your post notifications. Follow me on Elite Tarot, as well as Divine Feminine Academy. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at ADC Majesty. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, you already know what to do. Email me or DM me on Instagram. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Be careful out here. Be safe. Use your discernment. If something within you is like, no, don't go to that person. Don't go to that person. Trust yourself and save your coins. Um... May like shine bright and receive light new highs and grace can manifest. And yeah, let me know if you guys are liking the story times yet, because I'll do more. I've got stories for days. I'm sorry I'm not like, you know, as today. Um, like I said, I'm just recovering, but I'll be back. I'll be back and we'll talk a little bit more next time. Peace and blessings.